You've never been? Yeah. Uh, I have a few times. Why is it every time I sit no. somewhere, I oh, never that, have That would be nice. Oh, because I'm sitting. Oh, my God. Hey, Jesus. Or is this like Indian style? I don't it's know. indigenous. It's actually indigenous people style. So is let's. It, is it? No, or yeah, or the politically people? correct term, you know? That's what I'm always confused about. I, I don't know, but I need adequate space you're not, you're not to perform art. It's like, fine if you don't want to. Just perform I'm art? Here. Let me see your art performance. Are you going to do something? I'm doing it now. I'm podcasting. Oh. Yo, welcome to another episode of Completely Irresponsible. You already uh, know. Uh, uh. We're back at it again. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. We have a uh, friend of the show coming back. Hi, everybody. It's me, Yumiko. Yeah. This Ooh, time she, uh, recurring guest. She has her name down packed because I didn't know what to call her the last time and I felt bad. Mm. She has like multiple aliases. And I was like, is it Yumi? Is it Yumiko? Is it uh, you, you, you hack a show? Uniqlo. Uniqlo. Yeah, I've got all of them. There's nothing original under the sun. Yeah. Actually, somebody gave me like a new one the other day, and I was like, oh, that's the first. Mm-hmm. But that's happened, that hasn't happened in years. Wait, what was it? it it's between me and God? that person. And God? <laughs> My bad. I got to move that closer to you. Okay. Oh. Yeah. yeah, because you wanted me to move away. So. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah. My bad. All right, uh, you know what? <laughs> Let me just be cordial today, guys. How was everybody's week? Okay. <laughs> well, how did they go? You know right, what? Damn. The problem was with I this, this week? every week. Oh, okay. She asked me what? Right. Like, so when it was Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. I did not know it was Sunday. I really felt like it was a different day. And I don't know which one it was, but that happened several times this week where I was surprised that the day it was was the day it was. Even okay. today, it feels like a Friday. Thursday. That, Friday. Doesn't it feel like a Friday? That's Friday. It Thursday. does, right? With you. I was I was nervous because I got a flight to catch on Friday, so I was like, it would be crazy if I was sitting here and it was Friday. I mean, it's not. What better place to be on a Friday than with two guys that are about to talk some ignorant ass shit? Miami. I feel like. Mm. Oh, okay. I don't think there's that much in Miami, so. Okay. Let's call me crazy. Shit, at least you call me. How was your week, Dave? Um, it was eventful, you know. I, I wake up, I smell good, I feel good. You wake up smelling good? Yes. Just automatically? Just your, your natural scent is just good? Yes, my natural musk your, smells your musk. good. Right. Uh, my breath smells like shit, though. That's different. It's okay. just like... So, so you're capping. Huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. My week, my week was chill. Um, I got a bonus last week. Um, oh, shit. And it's funny because, like, I got the check in my account. You, and didn't, you weren't expecting it? No, no. I had 6 o'clock in the morning, I was about to pay rent. And I saw it, and I was like, I called my dad. Jesus? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Is the answer? I called my dad, and I'm like, yo, um, can a, can your job, like, take your check back out of your account? He's like, theoretically, yes, but, like, no. Like, no, they can't. No, they can't. He's like, they can request it back, oh, like, yeah. and now you would have to give it back, like, unless you mm-hmm. don't want the job no more. Like, <laughs> so, but, like, not really, but yes. Like, okay. there's ways you can get to it back. threaten you to get fired. Yeah. 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 So I was like, okay. He's like, why? I was like, yeah, I got two checks in my bank account, um, and I don't want to give it back. And he was like, well, you got two options. You can not say something and see if they bring it up, or you can say something and, you know, p- potentially not have that check. And I was like, damn, I really want that check, though, and I need that check. Yeah, they don't, they don't accidentally give money away very often. It's, no, it's not he a- emailed me. He's like, yeah, yeah, just to let you know you got a bonus. So uh, you've been doing a lot of good work, so congratulations. Oh, he just randomly gave you a bonus. Yeah, we get a That's bonus. That's very sweet. In, um, not really. Uh, we get a bonus in December. December. Okay. Yeah, so. Every I job mean, doesn't differently. I think I th- he knows I'm trying to leave. I think I got a bonus on my job, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to find that out. I was waiting for that bonus yeah. in December. I was like, whoa, mm. only fans. Yeah. You're like, Jesus, damn, Jesus tried to pay my rent today. Like, Facts, yeah. man. You know, because it's crazy because, like, I always like those tweets on Twitter that say, yo, this <laughs> oh, no. month is going to bless you with money. <laughs> and Do you really? Do you like everyone you see? You're yeah, and every time oh, I like nah. them, I end up with less money than I had before. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, like, nah, this shit is bad luck. Fuck out of here. Nah, because yeah. it could have been worse. Mm-mm. It saved you. But not nah, like I've been manifesting shit and shit's been working. Like I got more <laughs> interviews. Um okay. I got the money. That's so mm. okay. shit is crazy. I like it's only up from here, man. Only bad thing that happened this week, I bought a paint gun. A paint like a paintball gun? No, a paint gun to paint the house. This what uh, is it? Do you paint your house with a gun? Now I do. Oh, like a spray gun? Yeah, like okay. Uh, 
I, I was not it. a yeah. fan without <laughs> Me neither. I was trying to like, like I was conceptualize. Like, kind of like a cartoon, like Dr. Seuss situation where you go like, go plat, and then yeah. it's like splats, and then the wall no. is all colored. It's like it's the. And I was like, what kind of technology no. do you know about? I know what stuff. What kind of technology right. did you manifest in I your know world? Stuff. But I bought like that, that cartoon character. And thing. by accident, I fucking bought the replacement parts, not the gun. So the whole time I'm like, yo, like I, I think it works like this. Like I'm like trying to figure it out, and I Google it. You probably saw like, damn, this is a really good deal. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, damn, this is so cheap. Like, yeah, it's cheap for a reason. It's not the actual That's shit. That's the problem. It was twenty dollars. Like, so I was like, oh, yeah. hey, I'm only twenty dollars. Yeah, no. I was like, yo, you got me here. Like, oh no. Um, but I bought the gun. It's thirty dollars. So oh, okay. Right. But I was so tight trying to figure this shit out. I'm like pressing the button. It's not really a button. It's a lever. I'm like, so the. The paint's just gonna come out like that. That don't even make sense. Like it's like a trigger. Oh. Yeah, it's not, but it's supposed to be motorized. Like mm, there's no motor. No, <laughs> no just, motor. Just, just plastic. Just yeah. a little nozzle thing. So yeah. I was like, all right. Um, what are you painting? Uh, my bathroom. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna right. paint it uh, like a sage green. Ooh, that's Ooh. Nice. Yeah, man. Well, okay. Chill. I found this painting that was really cool. It uh -huh. says, um, "Just do it." Or not <laughs> like let's just do it. So I thought it'd be kind of funny when like you take a, a shit. like a live laugh love type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I nah. thought it'd be kind of cool when you take a shit. It's like, not. yo, let's do this. It's like, I respect that. The encouragement. I was cheer me like on. Sometimes I need that. I want a to lot of words. Like what? Like let's do this. Take a shit mm -hmm. right now. And get it done real quick. No, like Wash an ass. excerpt from a novel. So mm. you know you can read. Oh no, it's gonna be behind you. It's just when you walk in, you see it. Let's oh, do this. I see. Oh, it's let's encouraging. Get let's get this shit. Like let's that. get this shit. I used to motivate my baby shit. brother when he was like first being potty trained. Uh huh. I used to motivate him. I was like, gas him up. Like, yeah, you got this. And he'd be like, yeah, open that. Never mind. Yeah, I was just. Wait, no. what? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know where you're going. Don't, don't, <laughs> no. don't, don't do that. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I'm in a jokey mood today. So, but that's where my weekend's been. It's been pretty good. Did you say how your week was? Uh no, I had a good I had a good Columbus Day. I uh I was say Kwanzaa. Columbus, I mean not Columbus, Columbus Indigenous Day? people. I Columbus Day. Okay. Columbus. No. <laughs> it's cool. You should let it fly. I actually sat. I reflected on the Indigenous people and all their suffering. My suffering? No, I didn't. But yeah, I didn't do that. My I, I was working. Yeah, I didn't do. That. I was actually uh. See, while you was out working, off. I was out here making moves. While you was doing nits, including Indigenous moves. people. Mm hmm Really? What were you doing? All green. Is that green? No. I mean, look green. Bitch. Is that a Native American color? Yeah. Yes, okay. All right. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Are we ready? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I did want to talk about one thing. Yo, I've been going outside more. Because, like, I don't okay. go nowhere. So, I usually just podcast, home, Home Depot, home, get some food, home. I like how Home Depot is part of that. Yeah, yeah gotta go to routine. Home Depot. Gotta check the block. You got mad at me for not for shopping at Amazon. You're like, yo, you could just went to Home Depot. I'm like, Support local gotta, businesses. It's like two day shipping. I, Support it's small one businesses. item. Support small businesses. Home Depot is a <laughs> corporation. I, I, <laughs> right, I think you need more excuses to leave the house. He was like, yeah, yeah. go. I'm like, I, feel, but, um, I feel judged. Nah, yeah. So I'm going outside now. Like I went. Friday we went to some bars, but we only sat on one bar. Yeah, it was wild because you texted or I saw you post a story at like midnight, and I'm like, they must never awake at midnight. That's that's, that's never. And I'm looking I'm like, oh shit, you alive? Yeah. And you actually invited me, and I didn't go because I assumed you would be out, but by then, so I'm like, oh, these plans are gonna end early, so I don't think I could go. Uh, and y'all out late. So I would have pulled up. I was man. outside, like niggas want to go home. I was like, nah, like yo, we still out here, man. Like we running these streets, man, selling crack, doing heroin. Just licking toes, like I something mean, crazy. Like, you're, just, you're just drinking like you know, empanadas and drinking like cocktails, yeah. but yeah, <laughs> but, gas um, it up. But then I doubled down with the Saturday links. Went out Saturday, two nights I, in a row. Two nights in a row. Got Ooh. the gin, had a gin and spritzer thingy. Got mm -hmm. lit, couldn't even see. Um, you know, I had to rest, recover on Sunday. Went to the gym. Mm -hmm. Monday did the same thing. Tuesday went back out again. Yo, I'm a different nigga now. Like it's the, it's the check. It's the checky guy. You don't have that. You don't have that. You got the, really you got the extra though. bonus to the account. You're like, yeah, I'll go out a couple of times. I'll splurge, you know. Yeah, yeah I'll do it. This is celebration <laughs> and the acknowledgement of your four hundred dollars in three days. Like, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Damn, when I spend money, I'll spend some money. Like, <laughs> I've been there. It's funny because I dad will judge this nigga and be like, yo, like you just. 
spend too much money. Like, I actually started that's budgeting. I started like legit budgeting for the first time in my life. Like legitimately yeah. looking at Welcome my. I've club. never done that. Yeah. I, oh, wow. I mean, me. I shit. I just I had to learn the hard way. So. Yeah, that shit sucks, man. Yeah. You ever had those moments when your account is just like I just buy dumb like ten dollars. I just buy dumb shit. You ever had that ten dollar account moment? Ten, nah, not in a while. Oh, well, not in a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be fucking like up. College, it's been, it's been like a minute. College. Broke. Oh, we're talking college? Okay. Ridiculously broke. <laughs> <laughs> talking last week. I <laughs> would be like, I would have like my, my debit card, right? Because at that time, I didn't even have a credit card. And then it would be like, I'm buying like a pack of gum and water. And then I would just be like, you know. this is I got to check my account would, for this? I would be like, eh. No, because I also didn't have, like the bank that I was using didn't have apps or anything like that. So uh, it was kind of just looking chance. Guessing. So I would give it. And then if it would decline. <laughs> I would just be like, damn, and then I would just leave. And I knew oh, yeah. that I was making money when, like, I would give the card and then it would decline, and I would be like, scan it again. Yeah. Mm. Swipe it again. You've had someone try to play I you. I know when I have five dollars and sixty-seven cents. I hate that shit when they try to play you when your shit declines and like, nah, I got money on I'm there. Like, uh, <laughs> skate it one more skate time. It again. Yeah, I said, dumb, like, yo, I got money here. So nah. I'm like, I remember one time it was like when I first started getting a little money. Uh, I had to show, I showed them my account. I'm like, oh, I got man. money in here. It was a bitch. Because bu- they, they said it twice. They're like, it's declining, it's declining. I'm like, I got money. Mm. My biggest so is dumb. a sneak. Like, <laughs> like, oh, I was okay, so right. broke for so long that like one time I bought gas, $20 in New Jersey, and then like they shut down my card. <laughs> I was like, Damn. what are you doing? And then they were like, you've never spent $20. And I was like, can you stop? <laughs> can you stop? Like, like yo, embarrassing me in front of the gas station, man? Like, can you not? We never seen you splurge like this before. I know. Like, yeah, I was me, like, it's me. It's me. <laughs> me. Over $15. Uh, no, I made it. Frenzy right now when I don't spending. understand. And I used to have the overdraft shit. So, I like, I didn't know back in college. And I used to buy shit and I'd overcharge my shit. They didn't tell me I'd overcharge my oh shit. My God. And then they charge me more money for not having money. I could yeah. not afford that. that. Back. Yeah. That what are my accounts? Yeah, but after like three times, like, yo, we're not giving you back. My anymore. TD student account, like, it was like, yeah. <laughs> the same one. it was like they negative $30. And I just, <laughs> I just didn't have it. I was like, just close it. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't have, I don't have $30. It's, it's, like, I literally didn't. And that's when I was working yeah. three jobs. Mm. So like, I just don't understand. Oh, I'll Spending pay my tuition. But like, I don't know. I was so broke that now I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm good. But I remember those days and I was just mm. hungry. I mean, I'm always hungry. But <laughs> now it was it was like back then it was like I literally couldn't even afford food. Yeah. Someone that said a red tough. flag is when, when a girl's always hungry. When a girl's always hungry. You know, red flags. But, I don't you know, have no hungry. red flags, first of all. Like mm. red flag. I, That's a red flag, my nigga. That's a fucking red flag. If you cannot identify the problems within yourself, that's a red flag. Mm. How do you sit How there? is the problems within myself a red flag. flag for you? Who are you comparing me to? You. Who are you? You're comparing me to me? You don't even know me. You just met me. What are you talking about? I know you, you enough. Know what? <laughs> I know I you enough to know flags, you have red flags. If I have red flags, uh-huh. there are six of them. Mm-hmm. Six. It's six flags. It's a great adventure. You're gonna love it here. That's a red You're flag. gonna stand in line to come in. You're gonna come for a ride. You're gonna have a great time. You might get a little sick, but you would do it again. That's a red flag. If you had the chance. That's a red flag. I'm gonna tell you why six, six flags. flags. And people you, love me. I'm gonna tell you why six flags is a red flag. One, <laughs> overpriced. <laughs> Two, mad people in there. Mm-hmm. Three, too many kids. Too many kids. Four, overpriced food. Five, the rides make you dizzy. Why would I want to get on a ride that's going to make me dizzy? That's if I'm a red flag, I'm, I'm the red dizzy. flag Six. that is it's not always that sweet. is um tapered to Superman's neck that he flies with. That that would be well, the red a, flag that flag? I I lift you up. Oh, the cape? Okay, you fly with me. You know, uh, we love it here. Like, the, what are you talking about? The like, golf course. I feel like you're you're that ass talking about like doing heroin. And licking toes, <laughs> and you're worried about the red flags that I have. You're yes. worried about how toxic I am because you can't even ignite. You're, you're like look, the embodiment look of the red flag glitched. right now. Look how she just glitched <laughs> up. Like, like I didn't what notice that shit. What are you talking shit. about? She she like, what are you? I saw mean? that because she's like, what are you? You know the you know the <laughs> anim- remember the metamorphosis novels as a kid the an- anamorph ones oh the I animals. love those you, you're, I love right those now books. right now you're turning into a red flag like oh you're, my God. you know this cover is like the animals progressively you can't changing. snake me you're like that progressively just turning into a flag like I w- <laughs> listen man 
Everybody has a red flag. You not being able to self-identify your red flags is, you know, uh, a bit uh, conspicuous. Um, conspicuous. I, why would I know? Okay, I have my red flags, right? What are men. You know what one of them is? If you like Three Musketeers, that's a red flag. Like the candy? How would a man, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. How would a man I about the candy self-identify or? that red flag in himself? When he for me, three red you musketeers. you see red flags when you get in to know that person. Why would you I got a call couple out? Red flags. It, where? Migo, you said some shit. I just sat there. I was like, what? <laughs> I remember one time we was at the liquor store and you was like, yo, like something about a man just fighting for me is like, I really like that. She <laughs> okay. said, but she didn't say like like she was like, like physically like, like fist fighting. You don't yeah, want like you don't like want to protect physical. me. No 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 no. Okay. Am I, I to be no. left in the in no. the in you the didn't vulnerable say state? No. The way you said it was just a random fight. Like, nothing has to happen. Just a man fighting in general, <laughs> to me, is like... Mm-hmm. This was years ago, though. Men, men watch men fight in boxing matches and such. Yeah, but I don't want my man just walking outside fighting. Like, Everyone But you was like, that. yeah, like I want him just to knuckle up. You ever see that video? A dude like outside of 7-Eleven with his girl? And then this other dude walks up and, and goes up to his girlfriend. She's he's like, you're so beautiful. And the dude just walks up and punches him in the face. That's what she was like. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm envisioning. <laughs> like, the random dude saw them clearly <laughs> together, he, and he still went up to, to the girl and was like, oh, you're so yeah. beautiful. And the dude just knocks him out cold. I feel this, like this is, identifying so one's problems is, like, key to grow. Like, it is. Mm-hmm. What are your red flags? Do you have a major red flag? Uh, damn, I have a lot. <laughs> well, like, like, what I mean, like, about me? Yeah, or like what? About you. Uh, like, if someone were to date you, what would be, like, a red flag? Oh, I'm super fucking moody. Like, okay. everybody knows that. Within, like, 20 minutes of meeting me, you're like, damn, like, this nigga would just get ticked off at the slightest thing. Like, the slightest inconvenience for me is, like... Okay. Actually, no, you wouldn't know that within meeting me. I, eventually, you will see, though, because, like... One. Right. Like, um, punctuality. Well, no, 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 no. I'm on time. That's not... That's a red flag of someone else. Uh, but, yeah, the moody thing. Mm. Um, probably cheap. It's tricky, though, because, like, I'll just blow all my money on food. Like, I won't hesitate with food. I just don't like spending money on clothes, I guess. Okay. I guess that's You'll a be right. openly cheap. On clothes for yourself? Like, you'll, for you'll spend money? Myself. Like, I don't... Like, I'm very picky about when I buy clothes. Like, you feel me? Like, you'll why s- is you being cheap for you a red flag for me? Like, I don't know. Like, what are you saying? I'm saying you'll spend money, but you'll still talk... You'll still, like, bitch about it. You know what I mean? Like, that's a level of cheap. Like, Anything I'll spend money, but i be food. like... Yeah, anything outside of food. Outside of food, food is like, mm. it's cool. Food, we're all good. I'll spend 100 right now, not even flinch. Damn. Like, I won't even think about it. I'll just be like, all right. You want to go to a Michelin star restaurant? Yeah. Um, there's some out here. I'll kind of I'll be looking at them. They're looking expensive as fuck. There's an Indian restaurant. All right. That, 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 we'll talk about that. I was thinking about food the other day. You don't, um, you don't, don't need that. that was. But uh, I think, yeah, really just the moody thing. I, like, mm. I didn't have time to think about this, but off the rip, moody. Um, Yumiko staring at me like she knows all you got my red few flags. red flags. So what are my red flags? What are your red flags? Uh-huh. She's like an astronaut where they plant the I flag. I love too hard. <laughs> I said, that's a good one. My red flag is I love too hard. Right. That's like when you're in an interview and they say what well, your weakness is and you got to gas it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. I'm caring. That, that's that's a red flag. I'm for not me. staring at you. I'm like overly, I'm passionate. overly <laughs> passionate. You gotta. But I feel like overly passionate and moody is the same thing. Mm, right? That's just a like, nicer way of putting like, it. You can spin it. You can mm-hmm. spin it like that. Ooh. I don't think a moody person is a red flag, by the way. Like, I like a lot of emotions. Like, I'm nah, very, I'd be, like, like, annoyed. Like, I like mm-hmm. that. I'm like, yeah, cry. Do I have any red flags, Admiral? Mm. Do you? You spend, like, the most you time s- with me, probably. You, sleep, you, uh, you, you have a very low social battery. Like, oh. out of nowhere, he'll be out, and out of nowhere, just a switch just flips, and he's like, I need to go home. I need to go home. <laughs> like, 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 no, I need to leave right now. I'm like, yo, what happened? We're having a good time. He's like, not, nah, yeah, but nah, I need to go home. <laughs> like, it just, it'll flip, out, and you'll have, you'll be having a blast. Y'all be, clearly, you having a good time. <laughs> Y'all enjoying the moment, and out of nowhere, it just, like, oh shit, this nigga needs a charger. Like, <laughs> he just, yeah. the battery just went on E. <laughs> I feel like for me, it's really fucking. <laughs> It's really true. No, it's really funny. Like, <laughs> like I literally like when I make plans with you, I'm like, all right, at least I know I'm gonna get home early. Like, yeah. <laughs> I literally like, I know I'm ready. <laughs> That's but why it was shit. so shocking that he was out. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like, past, we, past I'm like, you're going out? Oh shit! Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. You definitely get your sleep. Like, Yo, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> it literally be that blunt too. Like. 
<laughs> hey, at least I'm not lying. I'm just like, yeah, I gotta go, man. I'm, I'm done. Like, <laughs> Verbatim. I'm tired. Like, uh, nah, I'm just like, yeah, I'm done. Like, I'm out. Uh, crazy thing, I'll be walking. And crazy thing is, when I do that shit, like most of the time I'm in the city, I don't even immediately go home. I just walk. Yeah, you'll like you'll I'll just walk it. to the train. And it'll be like 45 blocks. <laughs> like I'm just like <laughs> just enjoying my own space. Like <laughs> yeah, we got. I gotta lie to you. I'd be like, yeah, nah, it was five more minutes, and then try to extend that five into 30. And nah, but I know you. Sometimes. I just let it rock. Yeah, yeah, like we did that squid shit. Um, when we went to go get your squid tacos. It was like I know this is nowhere in the vicinity. Oh, it's in Steinway. It's like a year ago. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Took dumb long. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> like Damn. 15 blocks. You, like, didn't, yeah, even, you didn't even get them. Like, you didn't even get the squid tacos. I didn't want it. Yeah, we just shit. went outside because you wanted tacos. It's a really good squid taco. Okay. It looked disgusting. It was, it was good. What are your red flags, sir? I feel like uh, uh, in a dating aspect, I'm, I'm like very cold. I'm a very cold person. Like getting emotions out of me is like... Like you're iron deficient? <laughs> like, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm anemic. I'm anemic. <laughs> no, it's just like like I, I'm the opposite of like I guess not opposite of moody, but it's like literally I like my I have I don't have high highs and I don't have low lows. I'm always just like my reactions are the same to everything, so it's like I'm always just like relaxed and chill when it comes to shit. Nonchalant. Yeah, nonchalant. And that's a big pet peeve for a lot of people. Like, you'll yeah. see, like, you're so nonchalant to everything. It's like, feel muscle, motherfucker. Like, get some... Ep- yeah, super nonchalant. I'll be yeah. watching the clips back. I'm like, damn, that wasn't funny. Yeah, like, I'm... No, sometimes I'll be thinking it's funny. I just, I'm just like... Uh, you just don't uh, show uh, it. Fucking Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do that Kawhi laugh. That's all the red flags you got? Mm. Look, that's what a relationship that's, is for. That's my red flag. Right. So, now... Now that we identified ourselves, well, some of us, um, what do you feel are the red flags in, I guess, men? Am I saying that right? Does that make sense? Right. I want to just ex- expand on why. Um, you believe you're perfect. I think it's weird oh. for me to identify red flags within myself because I'm talking about red flags in the context of if you are dating me, this is going to be a red flag for you. Like, Ooh. why would I well, you think about that. that? Like, it's like, if, I, if you see red flags for me, go date another girl. What? If you're dating me, you'll love it here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if I'm looking they at your red flag. might love it here, but you might have red flags. No. We all like if, red if, flags. Okay, if, mm-hmm. I, if I'm taking um, Amaro's red, red flag into account, mm-hmm. and then he's saying, like, oh, like, you know, I'm not very, I don't have high highs, I don't have low lows. He's saying... I'm somebody who's emotionally stable, right? Is that a red flag? Is that not a red flag? This motherfucker emotionally stable. Get the fuck out of here. Right. Like, so, like, uh, some women will see no, that. No, 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 no. Like, wait, let, let, me, let, me, let me say that. Some women will see that and say, that is very attractive to me. Okay. Some women will see that and they will be like, mm, I don't really like that. Mm-hmm. Because emotionally stable could be because you, th- right now, emotionally stable sounds cool until, like, I don't know, it's your fucking wedding and he's just like this. <laughs> right, but like that's not my problem. I so I personally mm. don't like that in in men. I don't mm. like. I don't really want somebody that's stagnant. Like I want to. I want big emotions because that's what I find attractive. But it's for me. I'm looking mm. for somebody for me. So like, why am I identifying if 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 I'm well, pointing your... out red flags in myself? I'm not for you. Like no. if you like women that are gonna split the bill with you. Date another woman. That's not a red flag in me. But there's certain things that you identify. can be like, I go like, here's where I am as a person, and I can see why it could be bad sometimes. Like, let's say you're a gaslighter. Like, that's a that's a fucking red flag. Like, or you're misogynistic, if, as if from a man's standpoint. Like, for me, if I was acknowledge, like, yo, I am high key misogynistic. That's something I should acknowledge and fucking fix. Being misogynistic is kind yeah. of bad. Yeah. Misogynistic is kind of fucked up. Self-reflection. It's self-reflection. Yeah, like, yeah. That's what it that's is. That's all it is. It's just self-reflection. It's not saying, oh, that person... Because someone could have... Everybody has red flags. Everybody has red flags. Everybody has bad I have things yeah. that I have to fix for myself um, to improve myself But it's not as saying that that person wouldn't date you. But there's no reason why somebody shouldn't date me. I never said home. that. Like, you jumped to that conclusion. No, there's no. That's another there's red no, flag, man. Let me stop. Nah, I, see, I see what you're getting. You're, you're coming. You're saying? coming at the framing of it, whereas mm-hmm. like, why should I have to value myself by the person that's gonna date me? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't mean. make sense. That to me. framing, I get. But, it's it's like it's like yeah. oh, so if somebody says oh, what are your red flags? I'm but like, who would ask that? How would I know? But no who one's would gonna ask that. that. Think about it. You just asked me this. I can see some dudes asking that. Some yeah, dudes would be like, yo, what are your red flags? Right. What do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? But hold on a second. You're moving the goalposts. You saying I just asked you that? Mm. We're literally doing it for a podcast on the premises of that was a trending thing on Twitter. 
I would never ask you that, and I've never asked you that in any other circumstance in the damn near decade I've known you. I can see this happening on a date. Because no, I feel like general. this is phrased oh, as... Oh, so you said me. No, not you personally. That this is phrased as like, why are you single? Why did your last relationship Someone asked end? me that before. Like why certain things like I've that. I've asked that before. It's like, it's like uh, a thing, right? I don't ask. I've been single is that a, is that a bad question? So I don't think it's a... It's not a bad question, yeah, but like it's definitely a question that you could answer with your red flags. And mm. it's like the reality of it. That's the point of dating though, no? You're just trying yeah. to figure so out like, it's like, this person's compatible. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's literally so what a red flag is. It's, it's like, like something that I'm not compatible with, right? Yeah. So it's like, all right. So if say, I was saying, oh, I'm very mm-hmm. moody. Um, is that a red flag? What no. are y'all? What are y'all like, red flags in dating? What are your? What do you? What do you see? That's like top three. That's or maybe even just one. If you have one, just judgy. one thing that judgy. I think we were too judgy. Like un- absurd. Oh yeah, judgy. I see what you mean. Like close minded. Like every little thing is like an attack against them. Um, a close-minded stuff. I'm trying to give examples, but I really can't remember one perfect one at the moment. I'm just gonna make up one. Just mm-hmm. like it's probably gonna be like an insignificant one, but like let's say it was like, oh, you 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 got an iPhone six and not an iPhone twelve. Like some something it's just unnecessary amount of judgment, like or like how you dress. Like I hate when people complain about how I dress. First of all, I dress good anyway, but I just don't like some people have their own swag and aesthetic. So I don't like when someone complains about how you dress for me. Like, nah, like I'll shut down. It's like, I got to go. man. Mm. Like, I can't fuck with you no more. Cause like, why do you care? Like I'm comfortable. I'm happy in what I'm dressing in. The fuck is it like an indictment against you on how I'm dressing? Like you dirty smug, like, <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? Like, cause then I can complain about how you dress, but I don't care. Like you're happy in what you wear. Like, yeah. You know me? Um, but then uh, judgment, like hyper judgment, is like nah, like mm. I gotta go. Is there anything like small and petty? Vegans. He <laughs> 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 was like, damn. He was ready. <laughs> vegans. I said, queued up. It's like no nah. vegans. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. vegans. Uh, small and petty. Like random, random. Like she, she brushed her, t- she brushed her teeth counterclockwise. Something dumb. You know what I mean? Like. It's funny. But no. I don't know. Some goofy shit. I don't know, man. Like, we'll get back to it. We think yeah, it. I gotta hear y'all like y'all examples. I've never thought about something like something so mm-hmm. small and insignificant. And mm-hmm. maybe I've said it in like passing, like oh, like I guess I talk to you a lot about like dating. Um, so maybe I said it to like you, and it's like oh yeah, nah, nah like this nigga wildin'. Like, but I, I really don't know at the mm-hmm. moment. Like, I can't think about like the smallest thing and why. Like, you definitely said like when somebody doesn't know how to stop with like a joke. No, when that's annoying after a while. It. That's not insignificant, Petty. If you're doing it for 12 hours, that's like, fam, that's 12 hours. All right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I literally went on a date, and she did it for five hours. I was like, mm-hmm. yo. Oh, I'm I feel done. like white girls, for you, are a red flag. No. I have a, yeah. I have right? a fear of white. Actually, isn't isn't yes. that just like, isn't that just like, <laughs> yes. it's, like no. it's like, you know, you see the whiteness, and you're just like, flag. Bro, like, I kid you not. I've been trying to like, yeah. I've, been trying, <laughs> right there. I've been trying to expand my dating palette. So I've been talking to white women on Hinge. And there's one white girl. I was like, wow, she's mad cute. My dating I, palette. I have a sucker for, I'm a sucker for fat faces. Like, I like, like chubby cheeks. Um, so I was like, she's mad cute. Got the chubby cheeks lit. Cool, whatever. She seems like a cool white. So I'm like, let me talk to her. <laughs> I was talking to her. I say, good morning, whatever. We're talking for a little bit. We're talking about Squid Games, actually. She stops responding. I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, she'll hit me when she hits me. She hits me the next day, um, same time in the morning. So she responds. I respond. Then I say, good morning. This woman does not hit me up until 2 o'clock in the morning responding with good morning. I woke up, saw that message, and I said, <laughs> I refuse to do this tango with a white woman. A black woman, I will deal with this. I will fully <laughs> deal with this from a black woman. Like, I don't care. I, yeah. I, you want to text me at 2 a.m.? I'll respond at 2.30. Like, mm-hmm. a white woman? No, you're not going to text me. You have the audacity. You have the, aud- the, the caucasity. The caucasity. To <laughs> text me, I don't even know, the time, 12 hours later at 2 o'clock mm-hmm. in the morning saying, good morning? Who the fuck do you think I am? I am a black man, a busy one at that. I have a podcast. Like, mm-hmm. suck my dick. But don't. But suck my dick. Like, <laughs> but don't. <laughs> like, hey. so yes, I guess a minuscule thing would be white women. <laughs> that's not, that's a minuscule, the entire race of white women. That's just a small red flag for me. <laughs> I'm, a fear of white women. I'm scared of white women. Okay. Right. Do you have anything that you you instant cut off? A instant dude? cut off. You're not generous. Not generous. Not in what, generous. In what sense? Um, with your with your time, with your money, with your attention. I I don't. 
I don't want that. I don't like cheap men. Okay. Um, another one. If, Talk louder. Oh yeah. So like no, like I don't like that. Um, low effort. That's mm. that's disgusting to me. But yeah, that's fair. vomit. And then also, um, if you used to be fat, that's a red flag. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I don't I don't want you fat now and I don't want you fat then cuz I feel like <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like <laughs> that would be her middle school one though. That would be the Right. One. I feel like Jesus. um people like men that used to be fat or if they were like slighted by women um during their developing years like uh, in uh, their their teens in their high school, they have this chip on their shoulder the and they develop like this vendetta against beautiful women. Damn. So I'm like no, like I'm not going to be like That's your little trophy specific. that you have. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yes, absolutely. Refer to one single person. No, I'm referring to so- it's a it's Multiple. a, a it's thing. a thing. It's like you if you it. weren't considered like handsome, and then mm. you not to say that like fat beauty people aren't handsome. Beauty is subjective. You if you weren't considered um, handsome by like society in those developing years, like mm-hmm. high school, middle school to high school, really high school, then I just feel like you have this chip on your shoulder and you have I'm something villains. to prove. Yes, you're like a villain. So I'm like, absolutely That's not. That's where alpha men come from. Fat niggas. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Right. Like, I don't know. It, it's like not not only fat, but also a loser. Like if you were like a, a loser. Hmm. What defines a loser? Like no friends. Okay. Yeah. If they were a loser in the past. Nah. Yeah. Okay. Like, what if they were just shy? I was a loser. That's fine. You weren't a loser. I was a you, loser. you had friends. You have friends to this day. I don't need friends. I have family. Okay. Ben, okay. All right. Dom Toretto. Ben, all right. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Fat what about wild, for you? <laughs> Ooh, okay. What should I get off with? What should I get off with first? How can I slay their women today? No, nah, um, my uh, my number one big one that I can't do is, is overly insecure women. My biggest pet peeve, huge, huge red flag for me. If you got if you got to question me every like, if you got to start questioning me for val- you need validity every two seconds just for like, like you because you feel insecure about something. Like I get I get like you need to obviously in a relationship you need to show validation to your partner and you know show your respect and appreciate them yeah. but at the same time if it's something that you're super insecure about i'm trying to think of a specific example but if it's something you're super insecure about and every two seconds you gotta like you gotta like tippy toe or be like oh no it's okay you look whatever this is fine of course whatever i don't know it's like no, I, I, can't it. I can't do that um hypersensitive yeah that's i need to think no, of a better i, I need to think of a better I example but like, um, yeah, so. i understand what he's saying like those those girls that put themselves down all the time and then they're like yeah or like they think that if you say something or like something 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 personal. right like th- like yeah. do i do i something 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 like, like? validation uh, seeking yeah it's a it's a yeah i can't, I can't yeah do that. i agree no with that for men the lack of confidence is like yeah mm. let me ask you lack of confidence and false confidence mm. okay it's, Fa- I, dudes be having false confidence. False problems, confidence, but I don't even yeah. Wanna, I don't even what does that mean? That. Like, dudes just be like, they overcompensate and they try to, like, act, like, super, like, ultra confident. It's like, bro, your confidence doesn't match. Can you give me an example? Uh, I don't know. Just dudes that, like, someone that will brag about, like, their body count or something like uh, that. Oh, okay, like, okay. That's okay. an example. Right. I was, I was yeah, really confused. Was and like, I, I feel like... Or, like, like yeah, like, I, I mess with bitches better than you on the regular. Like, that type, oh, that type right. of dude. Like, that type of... Okay, okay. Like, where's your confidence like coming from? Men who didn't meant, like, get, like, like, women's attention mm-hmm. when they were, like, in their formative years mm-hmm. are like that. And it's, okay. like, confidence, right. but it's rooted in insecurity. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's, it's like confidence. It's, like, you're overcompensating. It's ego. It's, like, you have a lot of ego, and you can't put that aside. I don't like that. So. Ew, fake deep. Ew, like, leave me alone with your opinions and and Ruby core quotes. I don't like that either. So we talked about oh minor like, things. I'm a quick quick thing. Minor red flags is uh, women that are obsessed with horoscopes. That's one. And septum rings, two red flags. Okay, Just throwing them out there. All right. So we talked about like the negative. Of Ooh, chest dating. tattoos across the chest. Oh yeah, for women too. Under boob tattoos for or, or inner boob nah, tattoos like for shit. women. Love nah, that shit. Nah, I used to, and then I got I got played. Right. Got so played your out. red flag for her is his turn on. Nah. So how could she identify her tattoo? 
Because some men like it. You right? get the tattoo. I yeah. never said I'm like, just bringing back the self identifying yeah. red flag thing. Yeah, man. Right? That was one, like a minuscule thing. One, one man's it. trash. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is another man. man's treasure. Exactly. exactly. Oh, treasure. Okay. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's another man's wifey. What did waifu? you say? Uh, I said waifu. Um, <laughs> so we're talking about the negative sides of dating, I guess, and red flags. Mm. Let's just do this real quick because no one's going to care about the positives. <laughs> what are the positives? What, what green flags do you like? Mine are anime titties. If a girl has anime titties? I'm what does that even mean? <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, I was trying oh, to... Am I the only one to be on TikTok all day? N- yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's, is there anime, t- anime titties that you're trying to... I don't know I do like anime way titties. Way too much. They're just big boobs. Uh-huh. Like Lady Tsunade. Okay, that big oh. titties. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I want more on TikTok way too much. Uh, no, nah, okay, seriously. Big titties are overrated. Throwing mm-hmm. out there. Big titties are overrated. I agree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I was just being... A, just making a joke. All right. I'm just gonna give one green flag. Rapid fire. Rapid fire, uh, fuck. My green, <laughs> my shit, green flag was about to be a red flag at the same time. <laughs> that's mine too. <laughs> saying, I like positive women, but if you're overly positive, that's really annoying. Like, be a downer sometimes, you yeah. dick. Like, <laughs> everything shouldn't be roses and sunsets. Like, sometimes there's a puddle in the street. Thing. Um, green flag, I guess. Communication is, boy, have I met people that do not communicate at all piss poor at it like really bad so someone that can and like effectively do it lit or actually no ultimate green flag funny yeah okay funny good sense of yeah humor. nah cause I'll just fall in love with you today fun is, is there funny okay yeah I will dead like try to marry you within mm-hmm. a week like no questions asked right, like I will try right like I might yeah, cut important. you a diamond with your own hands bare <laughs> knuckles damn well become a minor teeth teeth <laughs> Yeah. I'll bite that diamond. Yeah, I won't become a minor just for you, shorty. <laughs> Would you say yes if a woman proposed to you? Where? Depends where. Times Square, I'm punching her. I wouldn't care. Just in general, I wouldn't care. Nah, it depends where. Times Square, get in line. Punch I like I like that idea, but no, right it's kind of weird. I feel like when people propose, they, y'all both know the answer beforehand most, for the most part. You if should. you don't know the answer before you propose, then something's off. You wouldn't you wouldn't want to be the one as a man to propose. I would like to, but if you got really you beat me to it. To me, it's just like a stupid. Like say, no. It's a stupid old tradition, but I know it means a lot to some women. But it's like a stupid old tradition. I mean, I do it, but right. Yeah, I don't know. If you got to me before, I'm not going to stop you. That's your fault. That's you should have waited. Scam. I Ooh. dropped the hint. I said, get your nails done. Proposals are a scam by the diamond industry. Look it up. The diamond industry created that scam. And that's why I'm going to cut my own with Damn. a rock. And now we all, right, all, all fell for it. Oh. Uh, oh shit! I had it then. I'm now I'm blanking. Fuck. I just had it on top of my tongue. Oh, for me, shit. <laughs> mm. I was just thinking about it. Take your time, sweetheart. Take your time. Damn. <laughs> I was literally on the tip of my tongue. Now hey. I'm like, okay, this is a red flag and a green flag at the same time. So the green flag part, I love when women have like a hobby or something they're, obs- they're, they're obsessed with. That's something that I, I find. Only fans. I love that Ooh. shit. It's like, nah, not only fans. I also That's not love a that. But yeah, when people when it's just people in general, and not even just women, just people in general talking to people, and they 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 have something they're obsessed with. I'm like, oh, I'm awesome. One question I like to ask on dates, some uh, is like, all right, if I had to put everyone in your family hostage, gunpoint, and you had to tell me something that I wouldn't know, what would you tell me? And not something like personal, like some general information that I was give me a fact that I wouldn't know. And if you struggle to do that, that's like a red flag for me. Nah, I was can't tell me like, like, yo, what the fuck? Like, like, <laughs> like, like for example, if someone went to school for fucking psychology, I'm like, oh shit, tell me some interesting psychology shit. And they're like, yeah, like they don't know, they wait, can't name so it. So wait, tell me the, tell me your fact, because I'm so. This is I a wanted great to know that, but I was gonna tell him to wait until after you got your green flag. Damn, let's, can we please know though? Hmm. No, so we could all do it, but let's get your green flag first. Right. And okay. Then do it. I love chivalry. So we can close this, like. I love chivalry. Like, I love, like, my door opened. I love, like, you know, like, that type of thing in a man. Mm-hmm. And I also love it when um, you can you can take criticism without, like, um, and this is a little further into the relationship, right? Like, Positively it's like, accept feedback. Exactly. Like if I if I'm sad about something that you did and I communicate that to you, like if you can own it, um, and then I feel like you try to torture him with it. <laughs> no, no, because I'm not like that. Um, it's like if you can own it and then say like, "All right, I see how, mm. I see how, see how that being could a be bitch ass nigga." 
like actually understand. I, I see how I see where you're coming from with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I don't really say, "Oh, you're being like this." I'm saying, like, I'll be like, from my perspective, this is what it looks like, right? I'm not telling you that this is what it is, but I'm telling you this is what it looks like to me. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm understanding. Like, I'll definitely give you that opportunity, but I don't want to hear excuses. Like, I need, I need something else. Like, I need you to accept that. You know what I mean? And then to change it. Okay. Right? So, just so like, understanding I like that. And um, what else is the green flag? If you find, if you work out, um, what else? <laughs> they both <speak>. um, <laughs> You got money. That's, All right. that's green. Yeah, okay. <laughs> On next week's episode, nah. All right. <laughs> Anywho, let's all those things call me. Let's do your Say thing. Say what up. Let's do your thing because we fell into. And the passion things. is nice. Mm. Let's get into your. Uh, 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 oh, y'all want to answer that question? Yes. Okay. Um, Wait, where were you going? I forgot. What where was the question? It was like, oh, me. The, the question I asked on dates is if I held your family like ransom at gunpoint, and I, all you had to do was tell me something I didn't know, not like something personal, but like some general information that you learned. That I would not know. What would you? What would you tell me? Are you gonna give them like a like a, a, a count, like a ten second count or something? They have to say in ten seconds. Like or? if you know it, I, I they have to come that. up with another one, right? Like uh, if, no, if, if you already know that. But no, I you should. You that. you should. Everyone should know. You should know something that I don't like. Right. So like, say you have to be to personal. It. Like I mean, I'm saying, I'm saying that for then the you game lost, that we're about you to lost play. Them. In my head, you lost. <laughs> if I'm on a date and it's, she can't name one thing, and it's happened. No, before, I'm saying, I'm no. what if she names it and then you're like, oh, I knew that, yeah. and then like she so would she have to tell again? you something else. Or yeah, like does she do it again, or is just okay. nah, then she wasn't creative enough. All right, in my let's opinion, do it. She let's do it. We can do it again if if we already. But we gotta do it fast. We can't. go. We gotta do it on a podcast. Oh yes, immediately. Yeah. Okay. Um. I got you. I got a gun to your family's fucking head. Tell me your fucking fact now, nigga. Ooh, it's some random shit when you okay so when you're playing chess and if you put a bishop on the diagonal it's called a fianchetto okay okay your turn someone's gonna ask me what a gun tell me right now or i'm killing this person <laughs> that you love mm-hmm. uh a stream is worth point oh one two five eight cents okay yeah i didn't know that wow it's disgusting <laughs> <laughs> it's horrid hi uh, Yumiko. I can even get deeper into it. It's actually not the same per uh, platform. All right. I think that was Spotify's. Title has the highest. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. Appreciate damn you. Damn near a dollar. No, no. Damn near 10 cents. My bad. My Appreciate bad. the stream info. Yeah. So, you know, if he knows marketing guys, you know. All right. <laughs> right. Um, on your Give me a fact. Ah! Mm. On your tax return, you can deduct uh, expenses, whether they're legal or illegal. We know that. Whether they're illegal, you knew that. I don't know if you. Oh, could, yeah. I know oh, you could do no. illegal. Yeah, Sorry. you can. You can de- deduct your illegal expenses. So say that you are running like some kind of like. Um, Wait, you can, but you still get. You still get business? audited. Then right, you're gonna get audited. But how's it? Um, say like your expenses are like you know to store the people. You can deduct those expenses from your income because all of your income, whether it's made legally or illegally, is taxable by the IRS. But mm. your expenses, if you, they're like illegal will be deducted. So those are deductible expenses. Okay. Um, but you can still get like arrested after the fact. You can get arrested for the crime, but the IRS isn't going to come it? after you for that crime. Oh, the IRS is going to come after you because you didn't report all of your income, your illegal income. That's how they got out of yeah, the phone. Yeah, I know, yeah. But they're not going to come for you for deducting your illegal expenses. They won't like, yo, FBI, right. get this dude. Like he was doing right. so-and-so. And then like think about like the implications that that has for the people that wrote the laws. Okay. Criminals. I didn't know that. Right. All right. That was fun. There you guys want to do it again? Or is this like the irrespons- this time the irresponsible edition? <laughs> what? Talk right. your shit. You look, you have an idea. Yeah. <laughs> Let me, yeah. All right. Wait, Gunpoint. I, right now, I'll, I'll, I'll try to find my gun. <laughs> <clears throat> I lost my gun. Right. I don't like how you did that, first of all. <sighs> like, <laughs> you want to cock it one time for you? Like, <laughs> the Glocky. Okay. What? You are right, you on gunpoint? What the fuck go. is your fact? Uh, uh, Tell me something I don't know. Oh, irresponsible edition. Damn, I'm not ready. I doubt. Right, I'm shooting everybody, bro. Yeah. 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 Your auntie, your auntie, your auntie already then, smoked, bro. You know, like, you know. On average, every American that's went to the beach has drinking well semen. But that's everybody. I'm, knows I'm that. still sh- I'm shooting everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shooting everybody. It's, it's like if you went to the ocean, there's like obviously well semen. Yeah, we'll you're, get it up. you're not interesting to Emerald. He mm. can't date you. Yeah. Red flag. It was hard to do an irresponsible one. Yeah, it's it's not like it's not like an instant cutoff, but it's like eh, like it's disappointing. Mm. It's like disappointing. 
I'd be like, damn, you're not you're not obsessed with anything. You don't got like no right. like you're not my favorite thing is like, oh, you're not like a beekeeper or something. Like that'd be cool. Oh my god. That'd I be call fucking those dope. people like cats and cabbages people. Cause I'm like, you have like a very yeah. specific obsession and say that like I ask you about a cat or a cabbage, you have all of this niche information about that. A so I I lo- yes, because it's just it? random. It's just like two random things. Mm. And then you just have all of this knowledge and information oh. about it. And I'm like, this is very attractive to me or I want to be your friend. I like your active because listening by the way. I'm like, this is okay. very nice. So you have no idea what she's talking about. Cat and ca- no, you ask. I'm saying I call cabbage. those people cats and cabbages. Oh. People with with a lot so of information about like something niche. Okay, all right. I love those. Okay, let me ask you guys a question. Right. <laughs> so I saw this on a podcast, um, and I thought it was fucking funny. So the premises of it, they were talking. That was like, yo, have you ever wondered where you would rank? with the last woman you have sex with if you had to compile yourself with all the men she had sex with. On their rankings? Yes, on their rankings. Okay, like rankings. if they had to rank you, where would you be in their rankings? Yeah, right. with all the men they've had sex with or any partners they've had. And I thought that was funny. Um, so I wanted to bring that up to you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I did was I hit up someone I thought is personally cool. and Like, when, like we communicate a lot. Um, Damn. So if you told me ahead of time, I would straight up call this person, see if they'd do it anonymously through a voice, bad. through I'm a, a voice, it. like oh, a okay, voice okay. thing on a call. That'd be dope. So Shit. I ranked myself in the middle. Mm-hmm. I felt as if, like, I don't know how many sexual partners she's had, but I felt like I get the job done. I'm just not slanging that thing in like a porn star, right? I feel like she, every woman has encountered that one nigga. I'm not that nigga she's mm-hmm. encountered. So I asked her, and she said, you're not at the bottom, but you're close to the middle. You're just Damn, not middle. I said close to the middle. That means up like above the middle or like? No, I'm close to the middle. Like yeah. I'm getting, like if you have to scale it, like uh, passing grade, mm-hmm. I didn't pass, but I was close to passing. You didn't pass? See, that was the tricky thing. Damn. So I asked. And then, well, I didn't ask her. I passed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I asked. Well, she was very descriptive. She was mm-hmm. like, it, it was good, just other niggas were better. Okay. I said, okay, well, mm-hmm. it was good. I'm mm-hmm. like, so I'm not going to be bitching. I just now know I'm not the Lex Luthor of dicks Lex Luthor. in your body count. <laughs> like, <laughs> with all the niggas you fucked, I'm not mm-hmm. the Lex Luthor. I'm more like a beast boy. Like, <laughs> I'm there, I'm functional. <laughs> I do a good job when I need to be done, you know. Um, oh, so I thought it was kind of interesting. because you do Huh? <laughs> You're like, oh, that's neat. Be yeah, because it's like bad would mean like, nah. But right. oh. clearly I know I did good because like, we be fucking. Um, oh, yeah, they come. Well, I mean, she likes her personality, bro. I do have a fire personality. There it is. Um, But I know her, and that would have been a no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know her enough to know. Yeah, no. yeah. Um, so I was like, all right, like, cause don't mm. get me wrong, like, I like to say I don't have an ego, but at the same time I do. So like, if she had said I was bad, I would have been pissed. I'm like, fuck. All right. But like, I know, like, we've all had those moments where it's like, oh nah, like, we did a horrid job, like, yeah. Like I've had those moments where I know, like, you're going home upset. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, and it happens, you know. It happens to every athlete. You get the best of us. But uh, I thought that was the funniest thing. That to is just... not, that's a funny concept. So where do you rank yourself in all the cocks of cocks? <laughs> all the sea of the sea of the penis. sea of penis, the sea of semen. All right. I, th- I take pride. I take pride in my performance. I'm an older. I'm older at this point. Mm-hmm. I'm a seasoned veteran. I take pride in my performance, okay. and I, I really go the extra mile and put in effort. So, I, I think I got to be at least like top five. Top five. Top five. I have to ask. I really wish we had this answer. I would. I would love to. I would love to call to confer. I would love to call Yo. to confer. Maybe on like the at, after the show. Like oh, maybe call, a separate, like, a separate. Yeah, yeah like in the yeah, I'm after the show, man. I just want the answer. Period. Now, because like that's what a lot of guys feel like. They really mm-hmm. feel like yo, they missed or put it on them, and then. She'll call you and be like, yo, honestly, like, you did a good job. I liked it. Yeah. But I'm not saying that nigga ba- over there was fucking the shit out of me. Then two, three, four, and five was going crazy on me. So it's like, out of the 32 bodies I got, you at the midway point. Yeah. Like, 
I'm trying to it, it think, depends because both of y'all at the, at the same time it has to be someone y'all both have you have like sexual chemistry with yeah. so if it was like a random hookup and it's the first time that is good it's doesn't like, count. yeah, eh, it's not going to be the greatest. Y'all don't know what y'all like. Y'all don't know what y'all doing. No, random hookers don't count. But if it's, it's someone good. you're consistent, being consistent with, and yeah, I mean, yeah. you better shit. If you're not doing a good job with someone you're consistently hooking up with, that's starting to be on you. Someone got to be at the bottom of the list, though. That's, that's the reality. And that, that's, that's facts. And then you know what the fucked up thing she is? She had an all-star roster. <laughs> Impossible. But you can't have an all-star yeah, roster. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. You are just on the bench. Mm. Like, I mean. The dude on the bench in the NBA team is still it's still you know, good, you know. It's still good. Just put him in the right situation, opportunities. <laughs> you can drop forty five. Uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but so, like, if I think about the women I have sex with, there's someone at the bottom. You were good. Oh yeah, there's definitely people at the bottom. It's just yeah. they were better. So mm-hmm. let's put this from a dating perspective. So Yumiko can contribute to this conversation. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sips tea. <laughs> Like you have a man at the bottom of your dating list, right? Um, it's like one date doesn't count. No, I'm talking about like, I guess boyfriends. Would that be better? Boyfriends better? Because dating is a lot. Like you feel me? Yeah. To have like, like a long list like of dates. Like that's because you're gonna have like a really bad one. It's like no. Like, you know, you know what the um, one of my boyfriends, the one that's at the bottom, is probably also at the top. See. Okay. No, I mean, become I a mean starter. he's he's both. Yeah, because he was crazy, but he was he was awesome. Yeah. Ew. So we need to destigmatize. I don't even like saying he was awesome, mm. but um, he was crazy. We need to destigmatize being at the bottom of the list because from you a can dating perspective, be good, just not better than the rest. Mm-hmm. If everybody in the class got a ninety-five and you got a ninety-four, that's not bad. Yeah. You I don't just know. Got a 94. Even if I'm like comparing, right, like my boyfriends. Yeah, it's it's like the NBA thing. Like, I don't think anybody was bad. Just it, it's just a matter of like who. It was I a like bigger, more. better nigga mm-hmm. <laughs> that got drafted at Duke. <laughs> 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 that had a Porsche and a Maserati combined. Right. Yeah, that's, so that's an interesting concept. I just, I just remembered um, this thing because we talked about like a single date and then we we're also talking about red flags. Let's do single so, dates too. Yeah, why not? right. One time, I have the worst single dates, but one time I went on a date with this guy, um, and, like, in the middle of the date, like, it was pretty apparent that he wasn't over his ex, right? So, like, it's, like, a first date, and then he kept on saying, like, he was, like, wow, like, I didn't know that you were really the girl in the picture. You're so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. And I was, like, okay. And then he also stepped on my shoe in the in the beginning of the date and he wouldn't stop apologizing about the shoe like he would always bring it up he'd be like and oh, I'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry i stepped on your shoe and i was like it, it's Correct fine and then punishment. he's like i'm sorry i'm so sorry and then and then he kept bringing it up and he was like but the shoe and then like i was like <laughs> i was like I, I don't care like these were from target and then he like he kept on going right then he starts talking about his ex and he's like shorty was a princess and he was like he didn't even speak like that so shorty I was, like, was a baddie <laughs> <laughs> right so, <laughs> at the end of the date, um, so had the fun. at the end of the date, he like brings up, um, and I'm like, that's a red flag right there. House. Bringing up your ex is, on a date is a red flag, right? This is not, it's like the whole thing was bad, but he brings, oh, and he kept on second guessing himself because he was like, oh, yeah, I picked this place, but I was gonna take you to this other place, you probably would have liked it better. I was like, literally yeah. don't care and then he was mm. like he was like no like he probably would have liked it better and i'm sorry about your shoe and i was like ew like <laughs> no self-confidence and then, see if he's actually like that right um but the thing is like at the end of the date he pulls up on his phone like a list of things that women don't like about him and he starts to read the list <laughs> and i was like I've seen that on TikTok. I respect that list, but reading it is, is no. Wild. I said first of all, first thing, get rid of that my list. Small penis. Yeah, they don't like that one. Right. Second the first thing. thing was like, I work. I work a lot of hours, and I was like, you know, like that's just you. That just means that you you work really hard and you're mm-hmm. like passionate about your job. Nah, and he's like, I travel a lot. A lot. I was like, why is this like a bad thing? I was like, you just haven't encountered a woman that likes those I things. Travel that a lot. Not. Uh, I don't know. know. It it was terrible, and I was like, "Burn this list." It it just gives like low Sounds self esteem. Yeah. Insecurity. Yeah, I see what you mean. Low self esteem, right? Yeah. I'm like, right. Yeah. Let me uh change gears because we we talk about the Switch our worst dates break. again. Let me let me just unload. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me just unload for a little bit. Um, 
<laughs> no one else probably cares about this, but I do. <laughs> over the course of a week, um, over the course of a lifetime, we've seen a lot of people have different ways to be racist. Um, usually it's one or the other. You're either racist, misogynistic, homophobic, transphobic, one or the other. Never really seen someone tackle all the problematic bases in only a few emails. And boy, did John Gruden do that. <laughs> this man figured out a way <laughs> to offend every group. And that's one thing I will respect about him. He offended, no stone was left unturned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a single stone was left unturned in the problematic emails this doofus sent. The first thing he said was that about a black man. Um, he's the, uh, I think the head of the NFL Players Association. He said his lips are built like Michelin tires. Um, I cannot Oof. lie to you, I laughed. I like I like John Gruden too. I chuckled. Damn. <laughs> I chuckled a little bit. That was fucking Jeez. creative. Yeah, that's kind of creative racism is sometimes funny. That is. Uh, um, he then followed it up while by calling John Gruden a, the F word. Okay. We are not going to say the word. Yep. Um, put in between the lines. Uh, he called John Gruden the F word. He called. <laughs> when was this? It's like recently. He just ten did this? years ago. These emails are from. No, it's between 2011 and now. Oh, so it's yeah. just spread out. Okay, okay. So these are multiple emails spread. I think some 2011, of like, you could let the F word fly. Yeah, some of them were 2018. Back, back, back in 2011, you could let the F word fly. Yeah. But nowadays, yeah. it's not. He called John Gruden the F word around the Kaepernick time. So that was really okay. current. That's then like he bashed 2014? Kaepernick. No. Uh, 2015? I don't know, actually. Time yeah. flies. Um, but then he called, like, he was bashing the NFL for um, allowing gay players to play. He was calling them uh, fucking pussies. Um, oh, yeah, that's a lot. He bashed the NFL for hiring. That's why he called John Gruden the F word. He bashed John, um, bashed the NFL Michael for Sam? hiring a, a woman referee. Trying to be, you know, trying to put their best foot forward as much as they can. Um, and he's also shared naked pictures of the Washington football team's cheerleaders to the Washington football team's owner. Um, <laughs> to the owner? How did he, he know must have been. They I think he was fucking. Or were they a leak online or something? Nah, I think he was fucking. He had oh, them shit. in the tuck. Like, he was like, see what your employees are doing, sir? <laughs> He's yeah. like, it's the odor? Jeez. So here's my thing. Damn. Here's my thought process, right? Because it's in an NFL investigation on the Washington football team Damn. for employee misconduct. The thing I... And there's a lot of emails. Did he get, like, hacked or something? Did he get leaked? Or? No, the NFL... The NFL released is investigating the oh, Washington okay. football team. Oh, they found... They said, give me those fucking emails. Wait, I need so those today. He was, like, using... He was doing this from his work email? Yes. Not a text <laughs> thing from your work oh, email. Oh, okay. John I was Gruden like, I was like, man, ESPN. like, whoever he was sending <laughs> those emails to... Jay Gruden at ESPN. It's got the fucking right. sign-out okay. signature and everything. Because I'm wondering. I'm like, Yo, man, like, somebody rat. really snaked this, man. Like, he probably... Somebody he wants his job or that something and he, two, he's like oh, yeah. I got the emails what the this said from John Gruden at ESPN hey Got Check it. out this rack. Uh, Sincerely, John Gruden, uh, like ESPN. Use your, use your Hotmail email, son. Don't use it. Bro, yes, <laughs> say that in yeah. person. Like, say it in person. You can't right. even use your Gmail. You gotta use the Hotmail. Show some titties. Show them in person. Like, like yeah. don't be stupid. But here's where I went down the rack. He's a hole. white man. He's just untouchable. He's probably he just going to get like a little slap on him. I, actually, no, I like John Gruden, he too. Got was he the head coach? Package? No, he just got fired. Was he head coach? They said he fumbled the biggest bag of NFL. Was he a head coach? Yeah. He had the highest paid NFL head coaching job. What team was he coaching? Uh, the, the Re I said Redskins. Raiders? Uh, Raiders. Yeah, he had 200 mil. And they fired him. Damn. Immediately. Got the emails, fired him. Yeah, that's um, so here's where my mind started running. I said, yo, if he was saying that, I know Jerry Jones is saying some crazy shit. Jerry Jones is the owner of the Cowboys, and he's old as shit, like really old. Like he's really Southern. untouchable, though. He can't get fired. But I want to know what his emails is like, because you know he said nigger. Damn. Like, I know he let that chopper fly, especially during Damn. the Kaepernick shit. You know he's talking about players like it's an auction. Like, why? Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Like, I, I mean, just wanted to address that. I just thought it was funny. Old white people are racist. Yeah. Never seen especially someone just... Especially Dallas, Texas. Uh, I've yeah, never seen right. someone just hit all the problematic uh, issues in an email. <laughs> John just Gruden. in rapid succession. Like, <laughs> you heard it here first. Don't like, use your work email if you're going to talk all that crazy. Right, like, My work yeah. email is just, like, casual. Mm -hmm. But, oh, well. That was just interesting. Uh, we can wrap it up with Kyrie. It's right an hour. Damn. I stand with Kyrie. Damn, can I provide context? Okay. Check oh, sorry. Let me set up the story. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, 
So Kyrie Irving has been in the news, as you guys know from last week. Uh, uh, he's not taking a vaccine, and it was a whole decision on whether he was going to play for the Brooklyn Nets or not due to the vaccine mandate in New York and L.A. Uh, speculation was that he was going to play half the games, um, all the away games. The Brooklyn Nets have made a decision to sit Kyrie out for the remainder of the year until he gets vaccinated. So just due to overall... So to provide context for you, the reason why they did it is because logically it's just an ordeal to have you insert it in and out of the lineup because the NBA doesn't care. He, yeah, it's the state laws, yeah. and it's like you can play in some states and not others, yeah. and you can't play the in NBA, New York at all. It's like yeah, the yeah. NBA is not enforcing it. They're like, fam, like we will just do testing, but because some states, yeah, Brooklyn, some like, NFL states don't. Yeah, I mean yeah. some NBA states don't care. So after a while, the Nets were like, yo, we don't know what you're doing. But we can't have you just coming on away games. No part-time participation. Yeah, yeah, like basically just a part-time employee coming up for away games. That fucks up the lineup. That fucks chemistry. up chemistry with the team. Yeah. And on top of that, they have to keep in mind, last year Kyrie just didn't come just because. It was a Tuesday. Like he would just not come. So now you have to risk, not only he can't come to home games, but he might just say, I need some time off from away games as well. So it's like, fam, like, but they're still paying him. Mm -hmm. um, the Brooklyn Nets are still paying him for the away game, regardless. They yeah, said they'll still pay him regardless. It's just you coming in and out of work, and it's from, not going to work for the team's from, chemistry. From like, Kyrie's perspective, he's saying he's giving a voice to people that yes. that don't that can't do the voice same for the as him for the voiceless. Yeah. All right. But here's my issue. I was getting he didn't say shit until no. the IG Live. No. That was like he let his teammates even, answer every question for two months. Even on the IG so, Live, he was like he didn't really say much. No. It was just more like, respect my decision. But my problem with Kyrie, let me start off by with some giving some praise. Mm -hmm. I respect people that are willing to lose money and really stand on their principles. There, there are some NBA players that are super against the vaccine, mm -hmm. but they're like, uh, shit, I'm, I'm willing to make the sacrifice, but I don't support the vaccine, but I got it anyway. Like, yeah. uh, I mean, okay, that's kind of you giving up, but it's fine. I, I respect someone gets the vaccine. I think it's the right thing to do. But at the same time, I respect someone that's willing to put their job on the line and put their money on the line and, and you know, for what they believe in as a principle. But now, Kyrie, at the same time, I think anytime, anytime he has an opportunity to, to do this, he, he like I think he just does it for his own ego, personally. Because anytime there's an issue where he can make himself seem like the next Muhammad Ali... He's willing to always put like down any hill he could find any if he could find a hill to die on he'll do it like Social it automatically. Justice, yeah. It's just like yeah, and it's just like I don't know. You could almost predict it when he's gonna do it at this point. So, but I think yeah, obviously just the fact that he's willing to ruin everything for his teammates and his fans and everyone that supports him for this take on the vaccine. I don't I don't really support what he's doing, but. What about you? I, res I respect it to a degree, but yeah. I'll go last. What do you think? Um, I think it's a matter of, like, the New York government <laughs> legislating people's bodies. And any time that the government legislates people's bodies, I'm highly against it. The government doesn't care about your health. The government doesn't care about people. So for it to come out and say like that it's giving everybody that this this vaccine and creating this mandate for the health and well-being of people is bullshit. It's about control. And now this has trickled into the NBA. So now it's like, you know, you want to blame Kyrie, but really it's fucking the Blasio putting his like say where it doesn't stand. And it's really true. Like some people don't want to get the vaccination and like, you know, so what? Like, it's their body. Let mm. them do with their body what they decide to do. If insurance companies want to say, okay, like, I'm not going to support you for, like, um, COVID, like, related illnesses, that's, like, their game. But for the government to say, you have to put this in your body mm. but now because I said so or you can't work to support your family... That's ridiculous. So I think that this issue is bigger than Kyrie, and I think that it's definitely the government overstepping. But what about the people that are going in public places? It's not just everyone has to get the vaccine. It's more or you, you can't be in public 
in large public places infecting everyone else. That's ridiculous. Like, just go back to the mask mandates because making people put things in their body is ridiculous. The spread was really low when everybody was wearing masks. Mm -hmm. Bring that back. The fact that people can't go to their jobs and that they can't go to restaurants and that they can't participate because they don't want to get something jabbed into their bloodstream is yeah. How is that constitutional? How private, is that American? I don't support private businesses being forced to, to mandate it, but right. I think I think like it's a normal thing like in public school, like ever since public in schools, schools, polio, in schools. I agree whatever. with you. I agree right? with you any for Any public, schools. any large places in general, they're um, doing stadiums. That's why you know they're enforcing stadiums. Work to do and it. restaurants, I don't agree because like what you just said, like the NBA look, doesn't the, yeah. care. So if the NBA doesn't care, then you know why why should Kyrie? That's his that's his employer. Right. Yeah. Like, wh who is de Blasio to tell you what you should be putting into your body? OK. Right. If you so. give a shit about people and their health, make health care free. If you give a shit about people and their health. Um, it's more about one person's decision can impact other people's health. Not getting the vaccine can impact other people's health. That's the, that's the issue. Right. It's like you, if someone not getting the vaccines it could actively infect other people or cause new variants to come or keep this pandemic going longer. Somebody drinking alcohol could affect other people. Yeah, and, they, and we, it, put those, it, we put it those in jail. Own. And we put those people in jail for that. You drunk drive? After the fact. I mean, right? Like, we don't, we don't restrict. There's no vaccine don't. for drinking, though. You know what I mean? I mean... Right, that but it's it's like, it's like another harmful... It's another harmful thing that's, like, killing people that is and easily we try, we try accessible, prevent it. right? You no, they're not, because they can make money off of it. And then this is exactly, like, what they're trying to do. that's also an apples to oranges of uh, argument, because it's like... I'm talking about something that's dangerous and something that's dangerous. Yeah, but the spread of COVID, it's like, you can choose to drink. You can choose not to drink. I can't... I could just walk outside and get COVID. You could like, choose to walk outside. You could choose not to walk outside. No, because... You, you could choose to, to have to a mask on. You do need to go to work. You do eventually need to eat. You could just get COVID. Like, that's not... Like, look how quickly this shit got out of hand. Like, but niggas knew about that shit in November and then boom, What was the spread down. with masks, right? Hmm? Like, when people were wearing masks, not was the spread lower? Okay, so make the mask mandate. But, like, to... But they to did. A vaccine mandate is ridiculous. But remember, don't forget, we did make a mask mandate and look hmm. at different states outside of New York. And, and again... New York handle it, yeah. in my opinion, well. Yeah, so um, if New York... We're talking about New York right now. Mm-hmm. So... Bring it back. And again, I don't support I don't support forcing people to get the vaccine. I don't think New York State is necessarily either. I yeah. think it's more so forcing uh, private businesses to do that to or, or like employees of what was it, employees of large companies was it or not? It wasn't yeah, all companies. Anything over ten. Over ten or fifty? I don't remember. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, large places like that. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't support so that necessarily. But let me get my. Let I me think get it's my crazy. Stance. I don't know. Um. I agree in the sense of I don't really like the fact that um, small businesses are being forced into, like, vaccine mandates. Um, I personally think it's just unnecessary. It's like, I don't know. I don't really have a logical reason why I think it's unnecessary. I just think it's unnecessary. I don't really think it's needed. Like, medical professions, I do think that's fair. Um, federal buildings, I could give less a fuck about. But my issue with Kyrie specifically just to, like, kind of get it back to Kyrie, because that was the whole thing. Um, with Kyrie, it's kind of like what you said. It's just he's picking hills to make him look like this self-righteous person. It's not really... I don't think it's generally something he cares about. And here's Feels why I say ego that. ego-driven. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me think. I don't feel like that's something he generally cares about for the prime fact that, like I said earlier, he let his teammates answer all the questions. He never said anything until Stephen A. tore him a new one. Like, it took Stephen A. saying something twice on a national televised show for him to now finally come out and say what he's doing. We didn't know his status on the vaccination. You left your teammates to answer that question. No one knew that's what you were fighting for, the voiceless, um, fighting for the voiceless. Fam, you cannot fight for the voiceless and not say anything. That's not fighting for the voiceless. You're just not saying shit. Okay. Like, two people not saying shit don't mean shit. If you're getting bullied and I'm just watching, what does that do for you? If a man's harassing you and I'm just sitting there, you're going to look at me like, yo, my nigga, you're not going to say nothing? Like, if I was to come on this platform every fucking Thursday and be like, yo, I stand for women, mm. I, all this um stuff, I stand for black women, and I watch you get, like, fucked up, you look at me like, fam. I feel like it's it's the opposite of what he's doing. I feel like he's helping 
when I get fucked up and then not coming on the pod- podcast and explaining. But is he though? What like, we don't right, but he's doing the action. He's not doing the. the he hasn't even the, the said the, any of the actions he's done. He went on an IG live. I think live. he just doesn't want to take the vaccine. And that's I it. think that too. I think he, right. And he's just trying to be like, yeah, I'm doing it for the voiceless. <laughs> like, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, maybe. I don't think he's trying to like, like, that's I mean, a bigger like, thing. I, don't, I think he just generally like, does he, not want to take it because everything he's uh, done and every because he's been under a microscope. So everything he's liked, everything he's followed has not been nowhere near the realm of caring about the people. It's been. Um, anti-vaccine conspiracies um this thing is changing your dna type shit it has nothing to do with yeah. the people and oh yo this is not fair to them it's just been no i think this is gonna fuck up my body that's fine but i think at this point he realizes yo if i keep going with that narrative i'm gonna sound nuts let me go with this because this looks like i'm helping people but his entire pattern has just been strictly everything he's liked. like he's that light shit um he's been in chat rooms i think chat rooms i could be wrong on that but everything has just been anti-vaccine. This is going to change well, your he DNA. He kind of has a history of like anti-science or anti-government. Yeah. Well, anti-government mostly, but he has some I'm anti-science. I'm just going with his pattern. The of, flat Earth Kyrie. I'm just going with his pattern of what people have been tracking him doing on Instagram. It has nothing to do with oh the voiceless. It's just I think this is going to fuck up your body. Right. So if. But that's two different areas. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Because if you're saying I think this is going to fuck up my body, so mm-hmm. I'm not going to do it. Stick Everyone that. that's not taking the vaccine is not taking it, like or le- not everyone, but mm-hmm. a lot, a large chunk of the people that are not taking the vaccine are like, that's the reason. You know, they're saying no, this is gonna fuck up my body. Legitimate. That's why I'm not taking no, the vaccine. That's, that's like why a lot of people, a lot of people genuinely, yeah, yeah. Belie- genuinely I, believe that uh-huh. the vaccine will fuck up their body. Absolutely. So, of the government. Kyrie is somebody that is in a high position and he's getting a lot of um, attention. So, if he's somebody that's like, oh, I'm not taking the vaccine because I believe it's gonna fuck up my body, isn't he? Isn't he somebody that is in the same group as those people? Um, but you're and arguing isn't him, two different principles. So I'm saying he's if, standing for those people. He's representing those people. No, he, he falls into that category. No, so he's re- representing those category. people. That's no? A different ca- no, you're wrong. That's a different category. He's now fighting for the voiceless of... He feels as if people... It's not fair that people can't go to work because they can't get a vaccine. Right. That's, uh, that's completely But that's exactly that's completely the... That's exactly the... That's exactly the... Body. Isn't that exactly no, the thing that he's in? No, he's saying, I can't no. go to work. I'm an NBA player. Mm-hmm. I can't First of all, work. First we don't even know he's anti-vax. Like, that's still Who left cares? up in the air. Who cares? Is he saying... No, I'm just saying... He's saying... But like, his uh, lack of clarity is the fucking problem. Right. He's not even clear on his own IG live. He talked in the circle. Everybody sat there was like, yo, What? Okay, but let me like, let me explain stance? to you where I'm coming from. Mm-hmm. He is somebody that has a reason for not taking the vaccine mm-hmm. that is unknown. He cannot go w- go to work because he's not vaccinated, right? That's what we know. That's mm-hmm. a fact. Mm-hmm. Many people in New York cannot go to work because they are not vaccinated. So, is he not in the same bucket with all of those people, regardless of the reason? Technically, yeah. He doesn't want to. So he and they do not want to, You're and they right. can't go to work. You're so right how is he not stance? a representative Wrong. of those people? He is. Well, we can't why. know. We can't know his intent at the end of the day. We can't know. Who what cares he about his intent? Yeah. That's that's the nah. population that no, he no, no, belongs no, 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 to. No, 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 no. Intent does matter because hypothetically it speaking, does, but if that's he's just the using, let me finish. Let me finish. To. If he's just using this as a way to gain an advantage because he just doesn't want to, like as a scapegoat, that's even more fucked. Because now it's like you didn't even give a fuck about the actual cause you're talking about. You just saw an opportunity to make yeah. yourself look like a self-righteous person. Because what if like that, that does actually happen? He's like, yo, personally, like, I'm actually not going to literally say, yeah, yeah, I didn't care. But what if it was like, no, his stance is, fam, I just don't want to take this vaccine. I look like an asshole because mm-hmm. I'm not going to work. I'm leaving my teammates to answer all these questions that I, I need to be answering because they does, someone got to answer. Does Kyrie ever ans- an- answer any questions? Like, I just know about his yeah, thing with so Kilani. Like, and uh, I, he just he you, just let her like like he doesn't does he ever speak work, and say anything? Does. No, he does. He's well, a big that he literally anytime he has the opportunity when it comes to like causes and things and things that he wants to stand up for, he's it. very vocal. He wants like mm-hmm. it, to me that's why it feels like he's doing it just for his ego. But again, I can never know his intent at the end of the day. Yeah. I don't know what, what he thinks. Right. Like his head. Okay. I just think it's uh, not the same thought. Like, Personally, like, I don't think there's any any good reason not to take the vaccine. I don't think people have good reasons for not taking it. It doesn't people matter. Say impacts. I mean, it's, oh, sorry. It, well, it affects it could affect other people. That's why I think it matters. It, it impacts me because we're in a pandemic and people are getting infected. People are dying. Yeah. And so I think that affects me in that sense. So 
personally, I'm kind of just. I just think he just comes off a little bit idiotic. I think it's a false principle. Um, I don't really think he stands on that principle. That's my problem. I respect that he's being principled in general. I like people, when people are principled, but at the end he's of the day, I don't... Yeah, stubborn. I don't know. Like, mad people have came out and said, like, no, he's just stubborn. Like, but, you know, if he, thinks, if, think if, he a, thinks... if he genuinely thinks he's, you know, he's rallying behind the people that are being voiceless, and a lot of people feel this way, and I'm sympathetic to it to a degree. People distrust the government, have decent reasons to distrust the government. I just don't think... Yeah. I don't think their, their criticisms of the vaccine is valid, personally. And I think there's... Yeah, I think they're har- actively mm-hmm. harming other people. But um, so, what do you think is the end game with Kyrie? I think at the end of the day, KD and Harden are gonna st- hold him down, strap him up, pull his sleeves up. <laughs> there's like a Niggas. meme. There's like a meme of them like injected yeah. him with the vaccine. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Niggas shit. said if uh, Kobe was alive and he was playing with Kyrie, he would have mm. beat the shit out of him. Like <laughs> <laughs> that was the Jordan thing too. Yeah, yeah. 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 people were like Michael. Yo, Michael Jordan came out made a statement recently. He's like, I'm pro vaccine, and everyone was joking. You know like, what I don't like? He's forcing. He's, he's to give it up the vaccine himself. I don't like the fact that people are calling him Muhammad Ali. I think that's really fucked up. Yeah. Just so like we need to stop revising history. Like that's fucking nuts. Mm, like, Muhammad Ali went to jail because he wouldn't yeah. go to the army to fight. In the war in Vietnam, he didn't want to. Yeah, so that's a like, different. He's that's, fighting American imperialism and said, yeah. "Yo, if we come back. If I fight for you, I'm gonna come back." And I'm paraphrasing, but if I fight for you, I'm gonna come back. And you're gonna call me a nigger right after, like, mm. like. I think he actually did say that verbatim. Yeah, right. probably yeah. actually. I don't yeah. think that this makes him Muhammad Ali, but I definitely I think it's wild for the government to tell you what to do with your body. Mm-hmm. Um, that's fair. And that's that fair. you can't work and support your family. The work thing for me is like that ain't is that many bullshit. large businesses. Um, I thought it was like fifty people. I could be wrong. It was ten people. Oh shit. Yeah. But then they give Maybe the alternative. Then they give the alternative. You get tested instead too. But you have to get like tested certain, weekly or certain things. Yeah, yeah, it's like instead of getting the vaccine, you get tested. That was the federal one, not the government. Yeah, the federal. The one, federal yeah. one. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. That was like you get tested weekly or monthly. I think it was well, weekly. I don't know. I just yeah, think yeah. it's fucked up. But yeah. Well, what I think is fucked up is just the unreliability of Kyrie, and the lack of communication, like. Because they have to answer these, like, they can't skip these questions. When you're in the NBA, you get fined, like, um, I forgot how much it is, but you get fined a lot of money just for not going to these press Oh, yeah, he's going to lose, he's going to lose a fuck ton of money. No, I'm talking about, like, the players that got to go. Like, oh, KD, gotta go. like, you know, KD, KD, one thing everybody says about KD is, like, this nigga just want to play basketball. He don't want none of this shit. Yeah. Like, oh, he, like, they said he's the type to do to come in high tops to the club. Like, that's how much basketball he wants mm-hmm. to play. So it's, like, yeah, for it's KD like to be answering so these questions is, like, you can see the exhaustion on his face. It's, like, fam, like... And I think it's just a buildup from last year as well, from him not coming last year. Carrying his team nobody. last year, everyone being injured. That too. But I'm yeah. saying Kyrie just not coming to work for a month. And everybody's like, yo, we don't know. Like, we haven't even heard from him. Like, I don't even know if he's okay. Like, yeah. and then the year before that, you're injured. And then the year before, you, you do it again. It's like, it's a buildup of, fam, like, you don't even communicate us. Maybe he us. already had COVID well. and he has the antibodies. Maybe. So it's like, why I need the vaccine if I have the antibodies? But how do you feel if he gets vaccinated? Do you feel like uh, he's not standing up for the voiceless? Yeah, uh, it'll be it'll be kind of sad to see that. <laughs> I feel like it's a very, at this point I'm in for the drama. I'm here for the drama, yeah, so I want to yeah, see how this shit play out. I'm like, ooh, this is gonna be a good season. Like, I feel <laughs> the like East is wide open; anyone can win now. <laughs> Kyrie's not in. Nah. Shit, I'm gonna be going to some Nets games and see, see how it happens. Vaccinated. Because if you get vaccinated, not. that's gonna be a field day on ESPN. Like, she, she get vaccinated at the free throw line. Right. I'm like, I'll be upset. During the national anthem. You'll be upset. During the national anthem. You gotta stick with it, right? Yeah, like, he's, be strong. Like I want, I want principles. the government to come down. Not. I Kyrie. think they will. If I'm being honest, they have to. It's if unconstitutional. The, I think if the COVID numbers come down enough, I think they. Yeah. I think, they I think eventually they they're have just like, too right, much power. They have way too much power. Yeah, it's also unprecedented too. We've never had anything like this happen to us. It happens every hundred years, bro. Pandemic every hundred years. I mean, it's not like common. That's like unprecedented though for our generation. You know? For our generation. Yeah, I think this would be the only pandemic we have in our life. I hope to fucking God. I mean, we right. had like bullshit. We had the swine flu. We had the bird flu. But those lasted like a those month. are epidemics. Do you, do you yeah, all epidemic. do you guys get um, flu shots every year? No, no. Yeah, no. But I'd be forgetting. I need to get the flu shot. I so went to the hospital. <laughs> it was required for you to get flu shots every year. How would you feel about that? Uh, I would be tripping. I, I just don't get it out of sheer laziness. Like, right. 
Like, if you it like do it, it for me and book the appointment, I'll do it. Like, I'll go because it it's just a flu shot. It depends. I, th- I don't think I think that would be a little messed up because the mm. coronavirus is just way more contagious. It's like I think someone. Oh, said I thought he like, was excluding coronavirus just like in general. Oh, just a flu shot in general. If it was like coronavirus every year in general, no, I was talking about the flu shots. Flu like, shot. if, it depends. if it, the flu was like really bad and was killing people, maybe. But I would just do just it a if regular you flu. The but no. If you book the appointment for me, I'll do it. But I'd be forgetting. Like, yeah. I just be like so my doctor don't even ask me like, yo, you want the flu shot? He's like, yo, you you're pretty good right now. I think vaccines. No, right. I think I was actually even looking into the science behind vaccines and shit. It's pretty cool. How do you feel opinion. about the comparison that people make to like mandatory vaccinations to like abortions? Uh, I I don't know. I think this is this is abortions is like a personal decision that doesn't necessarily affect anyone else besides I guess if you consider the fetus of life. Uh, but if you're literally the problem with COVID is it's literally impacting. Like you not someone not getting the vaccine is impacting me, you know what I mean. So if you're impacting everyone else around you, it's like some someone gave the example. That's like someone like walking down the street smearing shit on the sidewalk. It's like you're affecting everybody else with your, your with your mm-hmm. decision. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's how I look at it. Right, yeah. Anything else? How long are we in? An hour and a half. I were nineteen. Damn. Yeah. Well, far. We chatting. We chatting. We hey, good episode though. I hate people that tell me stuff. Catch us, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube. Oh, going to Catch us on TikTok. It's gonna throw some shade. Catch us on uh, Instagram. Damn, I was supposed to have like a cool outro, like oh, like mm. if she's cute too, that's not the one for Bye, you, bro, or something everybody. like that. I don't know. Mm. Wait, oh, okay. Yeah, remember everybody, peace, love, and positivity. Manifest your dreams. Get, and if the bill is a hundred dollars, ask her to split it. Get mm. get the bag. If she ugly, it's a red flag. Bye. Never split the bill.